the LMA fast track is very useful to rapidly um, ventilate and oxygenate the patient initially and then when you've got the oxygen saturations up towards normal you can actually consider whether you want to go on and intubate the patient through the intubating laryngeal mask airway or whether possibly the LMA fast track on its own is doing a perfectly adequate job uh, and you can transfer the patient to hospital uh, just with the LMA fast track in place. A particular case that I can tell you about was a female patient in her 40s who was trapped in a vehicle and she was bleeding very heavily from facial injuries. Um, unusually heavily. In fact, we found out later that she had a condition called idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, or ITP. Uh, she used up most of her platelets uh, early on in the incident and then was just continuing to bleed. And it was quite obvious that the bleeding was abnormal. And we're having great difficulty in keeping the airway clear, even with almost constant suctioning. So I had the decision there uh, as to what I uh, could do to help protect the airway. It wasn't possible to do a formal uh, tracheal intubation under di direct laryngoscopy because of poor access to the patient, but I quickly inserted an intubating laryngeal mask airway, blew up the cuff, and immediately the bleeding that was coming from the maxillofacial injuries, um, the, the blood that was no longer being aspirated into the lungs, and I was able to rapidly reverse her hypoxemia. Um, in fact, I made the decision to transport her to hospital um, by ambulance with just the fast track in, without intubating her at the scene, because we were quite close to the hospital. And when we got there, there were two anaesthetists waiting for this patient um, who were less comfortable with the LMA fast track than I was, so requested its removal for a formal rapid sequence intubation, uh, which is the standard uh, method of, of intubating the trachea. Unfortunately, because of the fact she had an anatomical abnormality, a hyperplastic jaw, lower jaw, um, and the fact that there was so much blood in the airway it made this procedure impossible, despite use of uh, gamelastic bougies. Uh, and I had to reinsert the LMA fast track to rescue the airway. And then I was able to intubate the patient at the first attempt rapidly using the LMA fast track. The patient had some quite unpleasant injuries. Um, including uh, facial fractures, which uh, she required plastic surgery on. But she went on to make a full recovery uh, and was um, obviously delighted with the care that I was able to give her at the scene. But without the LMA fast track, I would have been in great difficulties in trying to uh, rescue that airway at the scene and also rescue the airway a second time in the accident and emergency department.